Hello. Welcome back to my channel. Um, once again, I have not been here for a little bit. I, I don't even know where to start. Well, I do know where to start. Um, I'm going to start with a, a, a pretty um, clear statement in that Black Lives Matter. I know I haven't spoken out on YouTube and that is my fault. Um, I really should be using all of my platforms and I feel like, not that it wasn't important before, but I feel like it's it's more important that I'm still talking about it as we're kind of going back to normal. So I just want to continue talking about it and continue, I guess, I don't even want to say informing, um, but keeping on the fight because it's going to be ongoing for I'd say a while, um, and it's been ongoing for much longer before I've said anything, before George Floyd, before it's 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 been going. And I wanted to start that off uh, with that, just so that is very un unequivocally, unequivocally clear. Um, I will be linking down some petitions that haven't reached their goals, other resources, as well as some videos from Black creators in our community that talked about their experiences. So you can just be more educated. I'm also going to link down um, the book basements video. She's obviously not black, so it's a different perspective, but I thought her video was really, really great. Um, and I wanted to link that down below as well. Also just gonna link down Mayana's um, black creators video if you want to find more black creators. I've noticed, which <laughs> this is so sick, honestly, um, how many black creators we have in this community that I'd never seen because YouTube would never recommend them to me um, and now that I've started to watch a lot more black creators I'm getting recommended so many um, and I'm just kind of like wondering like where was this energy before because I've been recommended a myriad of other white creators yeah that's also my fault for not actively searching out more uh, I'm not gonna make myself the victim here um, and if I say anything wrong or if you don't, I don't know, just feel free to call me out whenever, please, in the comments. I'm always trying to be a better person. I'm always trying to be more educated. So anything that you guys say, I will take take it to heart and I will make changes, um, rest assured. This intro has already been incredibly long, but I have a few other things to say. Uh, you might have noticed or you might not have noticed, um, I was doing my series catch up video. I had finished the Harry Potter series um, right when JK Rowling, um, really really did herself in and I'm not going to sit here and pretend I didn't know um, some of the bad things she's done in the past um, or her controversies but I will say that she really really did herself in and um, she is 100% a terrible 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 person um, so I privated my vlog for the Harry Potter for reading Harry Potter um, just because it was too close. While I didn't actually talk about her at all, I just like don't even want to support her books or talk about her books in my videos unless I am very explicitly saying like I, I don't want anyone to support her. Like I just don't want to give pl more publicity to her books even though I know her books are super popular so like what is my word going to matter? Um, but I just didn't like it. It made me feel icky having it on my channel and I won't be buying any more books. Um, in the Harry Potter world I won't be giving any money. Not that I really was interested anyway because I didn't, like the books were good but they weren't a new favorite or anything. Um, so that's that. Along with that I'm just taking a pause on series catch up because I just like it's 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 draining me. Um, so the Mortal Instruments vlog, I don't know when it's coming. I just don't. So I'm gonna end it with that. Series catch up's on pause, um, Black Lives Matter, and <laughs> we're going to get into my video now. Today I'm reorganizing my bookshelf and that is because I finally brought home my TBR cart. As you can see, this is my TBR cart. Well, it's just a rolling cart. I had it at school, but I would love to make it an actual TBR cart. So I'm trying to reorganize all of this um, into unread and read books. And just in general, it got kind of messy. Um, and there's just like a lot of stuff going on. I love the rainbow, but I'm gonna try out some new things, especially since I'm taking out books anyway to put on the cart, so I'm gonna have to like reorganize some things anyway. But I figured I'd take you guys along with this journey. I also have these books up here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with those yet. Um, and then I have these books, but I think, here, wait, can you see them? Yeah, I have like these books here, but they're kind of just for decoration and I've read all of them. So I think I might just keep those, but yeah. This is the reorganization part. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to 
take all these books down, separate them, and then we're gonna talk about all my unread. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't really know, but we're gonna do this. Okay, cool. Oh, and listen to black creators when they say we're not doing enough or you're doing something wrong. Um, our community isn't perfect and it's not ever going to be perfect. And if someone says it's not, you don't need to be defensive. You can just work to be better or accept that it's not. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, so now that I've did this, um, I'm going to wipe down the shelves and then realize that I've made a grave mistake because I just have no idea what I'm gonna do with them now. I want to separate by red and not red first. And I'm thinking about doing like a favorites shelf, but I still really love rainbow, so I don't know how I'm going to incorporate that. And I'm just like, wanna include some props and stuff, some like decor. But like, I'm just really nervous. And I wanna try to utilize like all of my shelves. Um, Cause I have like a lot of space that I don't use, especially when I move some stuff over to the cart. So I'm just like, no idea what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm just gonna periodically check in a little bit and then I'll probably like, when I have a good idea, I'll do like another time lapse and I'll talk through what I plan to do. But for right now, it's a mess, so. Okay, so with that done i think i'm gonna start off with red versus unread so i can figure out what i want to do with my cart i'm just like so confused like i'll show you some of the inspiration i have so i guess you guys can get an idea of like the different things i'm thinking of so like i really love like ariel Bassett's shelves let's focus um she's like open shelves so it's a little different but they're just kind of like it just looks so clean but it's like a bunch of she does like a little rainbow um i also really loved i love twirling pages yeah her shelves are gorgeous like i love like the open shelf look which i can't really do obviously um but she has like a bunch of different like decor and stuff on it um this is from the book feels it's just like an up and down rainbow so you can kind of see how it's like it's like verti or yeah vertically not like horizontally like i did which is like originally what I wanted to do, but I just don't think I have enough books for that. Yeah, I like this by, who is this? Meredith Mara. Um, she has like the square bookshelves. I don't know what to call them. Um, where they have like little squares. Um, and they're color coded, which I really loved. Once again, kind of like the vertical, the vertical color coordination. I really like that. I just don't have enough books for it, I don't think. And a lot of my books are dark um, or like kind of ugly colors and I just don't know what I'm gonna do I just don't know what I'm gonna do let me look at some of these hashtags and try to get some more ideas I would just love to have like a shelf like besides my TBR thing which is not gonna hold all of my unread books um, just a shelf dedicated to my unread books um, because I'd love to have like my books behind me on my like shelf like all books i've read so you can see it and you'd be like oh like has she read this like i'd love to talk about her to her about it and then kind of have like other books different separated but i just don't know how i'm gonna do that so <sighs> okay i'm going to separate the, the books now yeah i'm gonna do that okay so i just did the split and <sighs> these are all of my unread, right? It's a lot. And this is all of my read, which is significantly less than this. Now I'm going to, um, I think, go through all of my unread and my read and try to unhaul some stuff because there's a lot of stuff I'm going in through here and I'm like, I don't think I ever want to read this. Sorry, my camera died, but, or um, books that I just don't think I want on my shelves anymore because I'm trying to do the thing where it's like if I don't love this book I don't own it or at least like if I don't have any strong feelings on this book I don't want to own it or if I just like don't think I'm ever gonna read it So I'm gonna go through and do that Obviously, I'm not gonna show you like the books. I'm gonna unhaul um, Because I'm gonna do a whole unhaul video I think and then once I do go through all that I'm gonna film my all of my unread books 
which is gonna start a whole new thing which I'm really excited about because really like even more than series like I just have so many books so many stories that need to storied so I'm gonna film that and then I'm gonna figure out what the fuck I'm doing with all these books and which books are gonna go my TBR cart which I'm gonna do a whole TBR cart tour decoration whatever um yeah okay hi it's the next day um yesterday i ended up going to mars and noble and just overall not doing anything all day so i still have a giant mess and an empty bookshelf and today i'm gonna start trying to organize it i'm terrified i don't want to i regret it i don't regret it but i'm contemplating because i've tried doing non-rainbow before and i just hate it every time i'm gonna give it a try but i'm nervous um, so I think what I'm first gonna do is kind of pick some books out that I want to put in my cart. I'm not gonna show you that because I'm gonna do a whole TBR cart video where I explain to you like my rows once I pick them. Um, so I'm gonna do that first just so I can clear up what books I'm actually putting back on the shelf, um, which is kind of confusing. Well, we'll figure it out, but then also I need to focus on like... What I'm planning on doing here. Let me talk you through it. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but so I have six shelves. Yeah, six, right? Yeah. And these two middle ones here, like the two ones, like these, um, are usually the ones that are like behind me when I'm filming. So I want to put like all my favorite books here. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to put it in rainbow. I might be able to put some of it in rainbow and some of it not, I don't know. But that's my goal. And then the rest of them, like, series will be, like, I don't know if it's up or down. I'm not sure what I'm doing with that yet. Series and then my TBR. Um, and then that's just kind of what I'm going for. I think I'm going to try to do maybe series on the bottom and then a rainbow up top. I don't know. It's it's going to be it's gonna be a process. Um, but like I said, I'm going to do my cart real quick. And then the my, next clip you might see might be just like a time lapse of me putting some books on the shelf and fucking around with it. So, yeah. All right, so I have everything sorted. The only thing I'm struggling with is what books I'm gonna put up on the shelves up above my bed, but I'm going to start putting my red books on my shelf now. Yay, I also got my cart with some books on it, so. Cue the montage. <laughs> that I kind of have something going on I'm going to try to keep it a lot rainbow still so down here it's gonna be like series these are like my favorites like these two shelves here that I want to like showcase in the back of my videos I'm gonna try to incorporate some of these rainbow like across the whole thing now I'm going to separate more of my series like my more of my unread series I think I'll put like on the bottom shelf on the very top shelf I don't know I might keep just all series on the bottom unread or unread and then all of the rest of my tbr i think i'm gonna color coordinate it again so i think i think it's i think it's looking okay i'm excited about this like showcasing some of my favorite books so i still don't know what i'm doing with my above the bed i'd prefer to be red because they're a pain in the ass to get off to read um but i need to figure out what i want to do with that so okay so i just finished color coordinating i don't know this just feels like a mess um i'm going to put it up put them up on the shelf now see what kind of space i'm working with and then i'm gonna try to incorporate props and the props decor into it because i'm not gonna fill up the whole entire space and i think it will make it look better i don't know it's gonna be very hit or miss but yeah i'm gonna do that now <laughs>
knew this was gonna happen because it just like always looks fucked up when I try to do it. This is what it looks like. It's not terrible, but it's not cute. It's just like here. So up here is cool. That's all good and dandy. That irritates me. But overall it looks fine. Um okay. So then we have my two red no, this is a TBR, right? These are all unread books. And I did in like a rainbow. And I can't tell if I need to redo the rainbow a different way. Or like I just don't know. And then this is another rainbow of my red books. And then this is like my favorites down here, which I think looks pretty janky too. And then that's just like all my Saradescens and then my arcs. Ah, I'm like falling, sorry. Um, and I just, I don't know if I want to redo a rainbow or just like switch to genre and just kill the rainbow. Just kill the rainbow. So I think I'm gonna try to fix, I just don't know. I think I'm gonna try to fix this shelf first. This one right here, because it doesn't really look bright. So I'm gonna try to do that first. And if I still hate it, which I feel like I am, I just feel like it looks messy and just like don't like that. Um, I might just like completely like kind of scratch this and go like for the, like it doesn't look bad. Like when you look at it like this, like it looks kind of fine, but like, I don't know. When I look at it far away, it just like really looks awful. So I don't know, it doesn't look awful here, but I definitely think I need to fix this, this shelf here. Okay, I'm gonna do that now. So, it is the next day now. And I'm finishing redecorating this if it's the last thing I do today because I need to get this video up and this is taking way too damn long. This is what it's looking like right now. I'm really liking, well, this is obviously fucked up but the spacing and stuff. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna utilize all my shelves, spread it out um, since I have the space right now. And yeah, still need to take some books off. So that should help when I put them on these little things about my bed. And I'm thinking it's gonna, I think, I think we're getting somewhere. So I'm going to start putting things in the sacks, scratch the rainbow. Maybe I'll still have some like rainbow sacks in there, but I'm just, we're just gonna split it up more like this, like spacious, spacious. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. And with that, it's done. This is what she looks like. I can't tell if it's a mess or if it's cute. Um, but I plan on doing, I guess, a whole sort of bookshelf tour. Um, but I guess I'll just run through it right now because what do I have to lose? Um, plus I'll probably change it a little bit at least. Um, but so the way I did it is that these, so these three here are all books I've read. So I really wanted to focus on like some of my favorite books right in the middle, um, or at least like not all of these are my favorite books, but favorite books, favorite, well that's not really a favorite, mm, we just kind of went with books I've read. Um, same with over here, 
little sections, little sections, sections, all of my red books. This shelf's a mess. I don't know what to do with her. I'll try to fix it. Um, and then up here we have unread series. So unread, mixed of read and unread, um, and then mixed but like mostly unread. So that's kind of like the top. And then down here I have all of my unread books, like straight up unread. Um, I figured this would be a good place to keep them because they are kind of messy until I move them up and have to reformat things. I'd love to eventually just be able to fit all of my on, like make this a rainbow again to some extent and just have all of my unread books fit on my TBR cart, but that's going to be a long time. Um, so that's the goal, but right now there's a decent bit of unread books I have here that you can see which aren't really organized by anything. Um, well technically these up on top is hardcovers and then down the bottom is all my paperbacks and then behind this I have my arcs, my coloring books, and then these two organizers. Um, and yeah, I think in general I don't hate it. I think it, it definitely still needs some tweaking um, and it's going to take some getting used to because I did love my rainbow but I think this is going to really like motivate me to see like okay I have these books down here to pick from like it just makes it a lot easier um, and then I love my TBR cart which I'm going to do a full tour for but little sneak preview of that um, but yeah I guess that's it I guess I'm going to take a thumbnail or just take a picture of the bookshelf I'm not really sure um, I think it still needs some something um, or at least some fixing for sure but yeah thank you for watching this if you're still watching uh, this has definitely been a mess but it's been a journey and I think it's gonna grow on me I think it's gonna grow on me just gotta do some tweaking some fixing but yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video lots of fun videos coming up and yeah I will talk to you guys very very soon bye